Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Edit Mode, I'm going to show you a new feature in Eclipse 11 that reimagines what editing in real time looks like. Edit Mode is a new series of macros that have been built using the new plugin system. These macros replace some of the existing real time editing kit macros. In Eclipse 11, if you go to Support, Eclipse Documentation, there's now an Eclipse Real-Time Kit V2 document. The Eclipse Real-Time Editing Kit version 2 document goes over all of the new macros that have been added for edit mode and how to use them, and how to use edit mode itself. Edit mode allows you to edit directly from your steno machine or voice mask using macros that are built into your dictionary. Using edit mode does require that you enable the plugin first. So I'm going to go back to Eclipse. I'll go to Support, Plugins, and Manage Plugins. In my Plugin Manager, I see a plugin for Edit Mode Tools. I'm going to select Edit Mode Tools and click Enable, and then OK, and Eclipse will prompt me to restart. I'm going to reopen Eclipse. In addition to enabling the plugin, you're also going to need an Edit Mode Dictionary. If you go to our website, you can go to Support, Downloads, Utilities, and More. And here there's an Edit Mode Blank Dictionary. I'm going to click on this dictionary, and I'll save it into my job folder. And I'm going to call this file just Edit Mode. Once the file has been saved, you can open it in Eclipse. If I open the Edit Mode Dictionary, you see that I have a number of macros already built in. However, they use Placeholder Steno. So you can double click an entry, click the Steno button, and select the Steno that you would like to use instead. If you're not sure what Steno to use, you can return to Support Eclipse Documentation, and the Real-Time Kit V2 often has suggested Steno strokes that you can use for these macros. And don't forget that you don't have to use the Steno, it's simply a suggestion. And you can use any Steno that works for you for any of these macros. As shown in the document here, when you're using edit mode, you can move your cursor using your Steno machine to a specific location. You can turn edit mode on, and then you can write what you'd like to insert in that location and accept it. And the text that you've written on your Steno machine comes up in a little text box so you can make sure that what you've written is correct before you choose to insert it. Edit mode includes moving your cursor to the location where you need to make corrections. And there are macros included that you can assign to steno strokes to move up and down by lines or left and right by word or characters. There are macros set up to do anything from moving to the previous question or answer to moving back to your last edit point, changing the way your real-time output looks, and then we move on to the actual editing commands. The first and most important command is the edit here command, which is what turns on edit mode. And at that point, once edit mode is on, you can use any of the edit mode macros on their own or in conjunction with the real time macros. If you already edit from the writer, you're going to love edit mode. And if you haven't given it a shot yet, I definitely recommend that you stay tuned to this YouTube channel because in this series, we're going to cover all of the different edit mode commands in depth. Become an expert real-time editor in no time with Eclipse 11 and edit mode. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any questions anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.